In New York City at the Minds and Money Conference, I'm with Frank Bassa, President and CEO of Castle Silver. Frank, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Oh, always a pleasure to meet with you. We meet in the strangest places around the world. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, so let's just do a quick recap of the company and what you're up to lately. Well, actually, what we've done since we met last time, uh, we went ahead, raised a little bit of money, which is about 950000 which was a little oversubscribed. And since then, we decided to move forward with a couple of strategies on a, in a cobalt camp on our Castle Silver property. The first one is uh, we'll probably be doing a drill program on surface. Uh, we're looking at going underground. We have our, our, our added opened up. We have all the permits to go underground. The intent is to drill from underground if we can and also grab a bulk sample. Right. And we already started some test work uh, using our REOX uh, process, right. which is to recover and separate the cobalt from the silver. And we're now trying to apply it in recycling the lithium ion batteries. So you just mentioned uh, REOX. Uh, what is that? And are there any other companies doing what you're doing right now? Well, we really don't know if there's anybody else doing it, but we know we're doing it. And the intent is to see if we can recycle the lithium ion battery markets for the cobalt values. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the same process we'll be using to separate the cobalt from the silver in our concentrates. And I think it'll be apl applicable in this stage. Uh, so what we're doing right now is doing the test we're at Lakeview. SGS Lakefield. Uh, we've been working with them for over 30 years on various processes and uh, hopefully within the next few weeks we'll get results to see how good this process is recycling the cobalt from the lithium ion battery market. Awesome. Now I know that you recently had a press release um, about the fact that Castle Silver can go underground. Yes. So what is that? Talk to us about that. Well, I think we're the only ones in the cobalt camp that have an added that permits us to go underground. Uh, majority of our cobalt has been left behind in the cobalt camp. Uh, so we were there a few weeks on the ground. We found a lot of the cobalt in the structures, in the veins. Uh, it's kind of unique. It's very easy to find. It actually, it's a pink color when it oxidizes. We call it cobalt blue. So our intent is to rehab. Uh, like I said, grab a bulk sample. Uh, mm -hmm. The bulk sample will be for, basically, we try to produce a product for end users and at the same time develop a drill program from underground. Right. Now for investors who are unfamiliar with the Castle Silver story, uh, what are some key highlights that you can mention? Well, we're in the, the cobalt camp itself. Uh, in reality, the primary metal is actually cobalt, not silver. Uh, silver has been mined. We took out a billion ounces of silver over time through the camp. But the majority of the metal there is cobalt. That's mm -hmm. why it's called a cobalt mm -hmm. camp. Uh, we have probably the most advanced project. We started this thing six years ago. Uh, we spent already four millions uh, right. in, in, in the camp. And we've advanced our project significantly. Uh, we've done also a drill program. We had some very successful results. Uh, we have cobalt values from 0.4% uh, to 1.4%. We have some very significant uh, silver values. We have about uh, 188 ounces in silver over three meters. Uh, we just finished another IP program, so we'll have some more targets. Uh, we also found some significant uh, silver, not silver, but uh, copper and gold copper. values in our golden corridor. Okay. Uh, we intend to drill that as well this year. So there's multiple things going on this uh -huh. year in the, in, the, in the cobalt camp for us. Great. And lastly, what is the financial state of the company? Uh, what should we know uh, for, for Castle Silver uh, going into 2017? Well, we're debt free. Uh, we just finished a small financing for 950000 It was oversubscribed twice. Uh, so I think we're, we have a bit of money in the, in the bank. More than likely, we'll be looking for some more financing going forward. So the intent is to expand our resource, you know, uh, 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 through our drill program, develop a resource, and also develop a bulk sample for our end users. We'll probably be going back to Asia. We just came back from Asia. Uh, we were in Hong Kong. There was unbelievable interest in our cobalt assets. So we'll probably be returning later this month, early next month, to right. talk to these end users for our cobalt product. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Frank. You're welcome. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. To learn more from us, Small Cap Power, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Rachel Lee for Small Cap Power.